In today's video, I wanna talk about providing the most stable environment for your children and avoiding high risk activities. Let's talk about it. to another righteous spiritual episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man in today's video we're talking about providing the most stable environment for your kids as women and men you know and avoiding high risk activities that can uh, cause you not to be able to provide a stable environment for your kids you know, just recently, you know, we lost Rich Homie Kwan, you know? And when we look at this, Rich Homie Kwan was involved in high risk. When we look at this, Rich Homie Kwan was involved in high risk activity. You know, some of the uh, stuff that he was involved in outside of his drug addiction problems, you know, when we look at the testimonies of his father, when we look at his own testimonies, you know, when we look at how the brother who initially moved him to the couch had normalized his addictive habits of being passed out, you know, there's so many different things in there that we can use as a case study to say, hey, you know, as parents, there's certain things we cannot be involved in because that impacts the ability to be able to provide a stable environment. You know, Rich Homie Kwan had four sons and a daughter, five children who now do not have a stable environment due to high risk activity. You know, uh, I recently uh, experienced one of the soldiers in my unit, um, you know, have an almost fatal motorcycle accident, uh, ended up losing a finger and having to get it reattached. but all of these instances that are being shown in front of us give us uh, an indicator, okay, are we involved in high risk activity? You know, how is that gonna impact the stability of our home and being able to be there for our kids consistently for the tenure that we're supposed to be here for? You know, providing a stable home is not just about putting nice clothes on their back and nice shoes on their feet and uh, you know, 4,000 square foot homes and, and private schools. That's not what it's about. You gotta think, man, some of these choices when it comes to drugs, uh, what parents deem as fun, the word says the time of ignorance, you know, the most high y'all overlooked, but now commands everybody everywhere to repent. So you're not gonna be able to say, well, I didn't know no better, you know? Parents out here, if you are raising children and you're involved in, in, in club activity, you know, staying out late at night and all of this and stuff like that, the risk level goes up at nighttime pertaining to uh, certain activities. You know, your, your likelihood of being shot goes up, you know, after a certain time based upon your city and the statistics. You know, if you're engaged in high risk sexual activity as a parent, you know, you're out here having orgies and gang bang, like you are truly shaking up the stability of your home. And this is stuff parents have to think about. You know, for me, I got three children and man, I know my job is to be a provider to make sure my kids are physically, you know, uh, mentally and spiritually covered. And if I do something based upon my idea of fun that impacts that, man, I've been dual elected my job as a father. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got, you have, uh, you know, men and women that will let people that they really don't know watch their children while they go off and do, you know, God knows what. And then you come back to these kids that's all, that's got all this trauma because stuff is happening. This is high risk activity. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
when you have a kid, your priorities have to change. Their, your priorities have to change. When you think about some of this stuff, people are tearing apart their homes. When we look at divorce statistics, you have uh, you know, women out there that up and root, up and move their kids, take the kids, hijack the kids out of a stable environment, all because they didn't get their way. And and divorce statistics show it with the amount of high divorces uh, uh, being filed by women and the statistic jumping up even by 20% more when these women are educated. You are responsible per, for providing, you know, as a man or a woman, a stable environment for that child. And just because you didn't get your way, you hijacked the kids via the family court system, move them, you know, in an unstable environment. They don't have no physical covering. And when we look at this, you know, you know, kids that are under the same roof with the father have a less likelihood of anything happening to them statistically. And when the child is with the mother, man, there's a higher probability for all of these issues. This is stuff you got to keep in mind because a lot of these kids out here, when we look at it, I've talked about it, man. They don't have a chance in, in they don't have a chance in hell with some of the decisions that the parents is making. Parents popping pills. You know, parents uh, want to smoke dope all the time. You know, parents want to smoke dope all the time. And and these parents don't know, okay, this stuff might be laced. We don't know what's in it. But yet you're doing this stuff for pleasure and it's going to cause you to be uh, laid out on the floor dead. You know, you are uh, engaged in all kind of street activity. How many times have we seen, you know, men and women that, that love that street life while having kids and everybody is all uh, torn up because the kids don't have nobody? Look at what the parents was involved in. You know, prostitution, selling your body, it's all high-risk activity. And at the end of the day, nobody's going to feel sorry uh, for you and the decisions that you made, you know, ignorance or willfully ignorant. And, and now somebody else has to pick up the pieces on, on raising those kids because you didn't exercise sound judgment. Sound judgment. You got, you have, you know, uh, men out there that, you know, in their mind, selling drugs is a way that they think is sustainable for providing for their kids and their family. That's high risk activity. You'd be better off, you'd be better off not having uh, $10 to your name after every paycheck, but all your bills is paid. You got a roof over your head and you working at Walmart. That would be better off then because a lot of people don't realize when you're in these high risk activities, you are gambling with your life. Gambling with your life. If I can't stress that enough, the decisions you make, man, you need to lead into it with the, with the priority of, hey, I need to be here for my kids as a man or as a woman. You know, all of these goals and what I think is fun and what I want and, and being selfish, that's not a that's not a priority. That's not a priority. Most people don't wait in life to, to, to be there and provide a stable environment. You got a lot of parents out here living their best life while putting the kids on the back burner and these kids is growing up jacked up. You got to think, man, I had a video on this channel before where this lady uh, told the child's father, Man, I want to travel the world. I want to do this. I don't want this baby, you know? And, and, and if I'm not going to be able to go to Miami and live my best life, I'm dropping the baby off at the fire station and you can pick it up. That's high-risk activity. That's high-risk activity. This is what people are out here dealing with. You know, let me tell you something. A lot of people don't know the back history of Rich Homie Kwan. Man, Rich Homie Kwan you know, was a was a, a, a phenomenal football and baseball athlete all the way up until high school. He had a scholarship for baseball. Rich homie Kwan, you know, came back home within a first year of college because he was homesick. And when he came back home, his father said he was trying to encourage his son to go get an engineering degree. Go get an engineering degree. But his son didn't want to do that. His son wanted to be a rapper. And when you look at uh, what the rap industry is involved in and the street activity, and you look at uh, the stuff that Young Thug is involved in and all of that foolishness, that's high-risk activity. 
Now you're exposed to these people uh, in a culture that normalizes drugs. People don't think about this when when they are when they are uh, you know smoking cigarettes and your livelihood. You don't know if, say for instance, smoking a cigarette. You don't know the probability of you know how your chances are to how high they are to catch cancer versus somebody else that smokes. You don't know. But this is all stuff that you have to think about when when providing or striving to provide a stable environment. You know, uh, like me, you know, prior to having kids, man, I was into drag racing, all this stuff, you know, street racing. But hey, when you have kids, you have to you have to say, hey, you know what? That's not the priority. What happens if I was to go out drag racing, street racing, you know, in the middle of the night when that stuff happens and I got three kids and a wife at home and, and I get taken out and crash. It wasn't worth it. The pleasure wasn't worth, you know, the, the, the trauma and the, the consequences and the repercussions behind my actions. People don't think about this. You know, people might say that I live a, a, a boring life. But guess what? I'll be here to provide a stable background. You know, I'll be here to provide a stable, you know, family structure, a stable household for my kids. The little bit of risk of going to do this and, uh, you know, going to do that is not worth it. I go to work, you know, I, I come home to the homestead. I stay active around the homestead, you know, and 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 I'm I'm cool with that, knowing that I provide a stable, you know, uh, stable environment for my kids. You know, if I travel, we're normally traveling as a family going somewhere versus, uh, you know, oftentimes taking girls trip and guys trip. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't moving like that. You don't know what can happen around these people. We see the woman uh, go goes to Mexico and something like that and their friends doggone beat the brakes off of her and killed her. What if that was you as a, as a, as a, as a mother? Definitely got to take into consideration what I'm saying because we are in the last days. You're not going to get too many opportunities and do-overs. You know, this stuff back in the day where you could experiment with drugs and all of that and survive and then later on live a normal life, people aren't getting them chances. People are literally putting their lips to this stuff one time, digesting this stuff one time and being taken out. And the, and the kids are left behind to try to figure it out left to the doggone likings of family members to try to uh, piece together their life because you were making, you know, very poor decisions, very selfish decisions. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.